Alright guys, so now that we have the bullet node sprite set up, let's go ahead and actually fire it. And of course, when are we going to be firing it? Well, whenever we tap, this dude's going to play his animation, charging his gun or whatever, and then the bullet's going to pop out. So, pretty much whenever the user taps. So, therefore, we can stick it right in this touches began. Now, this is the old animation from the dude. Again, that's just the dude moving. So we can just stick it right inside here. Now, right after this animation, the dude animation that's set up, go ahead and give, us your, give yourself some space. And I'll say shooting the bullet. So let's shoot bullet equal to SK action. And we just want to run a block of code. Now the code that we want to run, we're going to stick inside curly braces. So what do you want to do to shoot the bullet? Well, the first thing we need is just a reference to that bullet node. So let bullet node equal self dot create bullet node. And remember, that's the method we built in the last tutorial. So now we have a reference to that sprite that we can actually move around and do cool stuff to. So now we just need to add it to the screen because remember, it's just in memory right now. It's obviously not appearing on the screen whenever we click or anything. So self add child and the child is the bullet. So now it's on the screen. And again, we gave it a default positioning. So now at this point, it's appearing right there. And after this, to make it move, we pretty much want to apply a force to it as soon as it appears. So this is how you do that. So for the bullet node, we're going to call the physics body, which pretty much means change the physics of it. And to apply a force, or in other words, just to get it moving, it's called apply, well, I shouldn't use force because that's another method, apply impulse. So what we can do here, and essentially what we're doing, even though I don't want to say force because that's another method in um, sprite kit, but it's the most proper word I can use right now. We're pretty much adding a force or an initial impulse to the bullet. Now, whenever we add a force to anything, we need to give it two properties. The first is how much of a force, how much are you pushing just a little bit? Are you just moving it a little bit? Or are you like really whipping it, moving it a lot? So a magnitude, that's what I'll call that, and also a direction. So do you want to move it just a little bit in the right or do you want to move it a lot up and down? I don't know. So that's what we're going to give it right now. Now the impulse is actually a CG vector and in order to make a vector, you call CG vector make. So now we're pretty much just making um, a force. That's it. So the first thing is the x value and the second one is the y value and you actually give the direction and the force all at once so we'll say 160 in the x value so it's only going to go left and right and the y value will just set it zero so this force just think of it like an arrow 160 going out of course um these values they don't really um correspond to anything because this is all like in iOS physics land. So just remember that 160 is the force in the x direction. So it's going to fire out in the x direction with that magnitude and just play around with it. If you feel that it's too big, just lower it to like 100. If you feel it's too high, you can, uh, well, if you feel it's too small, you can raise it. And in the y direction, it's not going to be applied any force. So only go left to right. Don't worry about up and down. So that's that. And that is pretty much the shoot bullet action. So now what we have to do is I want to show you guys this. We're going to build a sequence of animations. So the first animation is this dude charging his gun. And once he's done, the bullet animation is going to appear. In other words, the bullet's going to come flying out. So anytime you want to make a sequence of animations, you take SK action. And for the sequence, we can put the first one is animation, which is the dude cocking his gun. And the second one, the second action, it was named shoot 
bullet. There we go. So this is pretty much a sequence of animations, a complex animation, simple enough. So now we never, whenever we run it, it's going to play the dude cocking his gun and then him shooting the bullet. So now let me go ahead and actually play this and everything's probably going to make a lot more sense. And where can I put it? All right. Now take note of this. Whenever I click, he's going to cock his gun and then a bullet's going to come flying out. Cock his gun, bullet comes flying out. And all right, might have to move that bullet up a little bit, maybe to the left, but you know, it's good enough. Now, another thing you're probably wondering is, all right, so I added 160. Let's go ahead and change that to, let me just change it to like 40s, just so I can demonstrate the difference whenever we're making these vector forces. So 40 is going to be really weak. I mean, if this guy had like a BB gun, look at that. The thing comes plopping out. That's not going to kill anything. All right, so we need to pump that baby up, and we're going to change that back to... Actually, let's pump it back to 180. So now he has a really powerful gun. And you're probably wondering, all right, well, we didn't apply any force in the Y direction, no up and down force. So why is this bullet kind of feeling the effects of gravity if we didn't apply anyone manually? Well, that's because, remember, this entire um, environment is affected by gravity. The bullet is not excluded from that. So even though... We didn't apply any impulse or downward or upward force. This bullet spray is still affected by gravity, and that's just part of Sprite Kit. Um, whenever we create sprites, um, you know, there you go. So, looking pretty good. The bullet is now flying across the screen. And again, if you want to change a uh, force or anything like that, that is how you do it. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much that. So, in the next tutorial, we got to start killing some enemies. So, I'll see you guys then.